Hello. I'm going to be talking about women in cycling teams being edged out of getting the trophies by, uh, well, trans women. Uh, trans women who, well, let's see if you can spot the woman here that looks a bit different. Hello, I'm interrupting myself to tell you I am Granny Opterix on YouTube, Rumble, Bitchoot and Minds. The links are in the description. Also in the description are links to uh, financial contributions if you want to make them. But really, you can help me a great deal simply by clicking that like button and by sharing and subscribing if you wish to. All right, well, back to the cycling let's just get back to this because I want to delve into a little bit of history first. Since the beginning of any history that I know about, a certain number of women have been kept in harems. Yeah, I'm not suggesting a cycling team is a harem, by the way. But it's the social setup that interests me. These harems were policed by two systems of governance usually. First of all, there were the eunuchs. They were directly employed by whatever powerful man uh, had the harem. And uh, they were castrated males who were usually in charge of the administrative running of a harem. Uh, but they weren't the only ones who were policing the, the women in this confinement. The other authority keeping the women in place were the women themselves. If a new arrival uh, turned up in the harem and if she was uppity or in some way unusual, either, you know, unusually stupid or unusually clever or unusually attractive, she'd end up being the victim of her fellow inmates because an unusual woman would be a threat to them. So, and, and the only people who were left were the ones who stayed in the herd and kept their heads down. So the women who vastly outnumbered their male guards usually were kept imprisoned, ignorant and powerless by other women, helping women to remain subjugated. And if the women couldn't handle the situation, then the eunuchs did it, the castrated males, the men who had the male bodies, in the male frames, uh, but not the male equipment. Oh, but we in the West, we, we've gone way beyond that, haven't we? We in the West. I mean, we hear of it when we're talking about other cultures, but not when we're talking about ourselves. We'd never stand for women uh, to cooperate in the subjugation of their sisters. In fact, when we read of it happening in, in situations where uh, women are kept in some form of sexual slavery, we're, we're outraged, aren't we? Uh, we'd never consider the possibility of creating eunuchs to bully our sisters now, would we? Well, let's just have a look at this. I've left cycling. Losing to a trance rider hurts on a million levels. I just want to point out that a trance rider is a, well, a trance woman is a castrated male. I do not wish to insult or offend those trans women who have just put themselves in female society as women and live as women. They're generally not the bullies. They're the ones who are bullied and they're the ones who wanted, want to fit in. And they're not the ones who are going to take part in competitions which would show up their physical differences. There's a new breed of trance now. It's, I, it's those I'm talking about. Hannah Aronsman refused to be cowed by abuse women face for speaking out about the transgender crisis. And women are getting abuse not just from 
uh, the uh, the castrated males, or maybe the not so castrated males. They're getting abuse from their own side as well. Here, uh, this is, yeah, only last week, Inga Thompson, a retired three-time US Olympian, found herself accused by, a, by cycling team Siniska. Siniska was a famous Spartan charioteer, a female charioteer. So I'm assuming Siniska is a female organisation and they had a go at Inga Thompson because she was affecting its brand and reputation for opposing the presence of post-puberty males in female sport. This is a female cycling organisation offended when a female complains that men are taking all the plaudits now. Women policing other women and keeping themselves, keeping them in a state of subjugation. Women going for unusual women, because you can't have unusual women in a harem. It disturbs the balance. Aronson, despite the, the problems she saw in her, her colleague, she is, it says here, breaking the omerta. Conscious that the fight is no longer hers alone and that ultimately the sanctity and integrity of female character category are at stake. Now, where are the eunuchs? Well, they're here. This is a tweet by a group of men. It seems like they're all men who went to demonstrate at the USAC Cycle Cross Championship in Hartford uh, because of Aaron's, Aaronsman's stand, and they called her a turf, which is their their expression for uh, of of disparagement for a woman who stands up for these things for other women. Reminded of the intimidation, Aronsman can only despair of the toxic backlash that any attempt to discuss the transgender controversy attracts. And then she says, when you have to use physical violence to keep other people in check, uh, there's something seriously wrong. It's a form of tyranny. Yeah, very definitely. It's tyranny. It's a historical tyranny of men over women. Uh, this this is just history. I'm not blaming men. It's just the way humans seem to be. But of course, just like we don't sit down, uh, we don't squat down with our back against the cave wall eating raw meat, we have learned to be civilised. And then occasionally we regress, don't we? Uh, we can see that uh, Killips is a cheat in more ways than one. It's not only that uh, he deprived her of a national medal, but uh, in one video, Killips can be seen appearing to shove the bicycle directly at Aronsman, knocking her off balance. Uh, the, the situation is pretty bad. But what's... The most depressing about it is that women are cooperating in this. I suggest that most of the women who cooperate with this are not watching my channel. That's not very helpful either, is it? All right. Well, till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Granbo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.